lipases transportation can be divided into two types blood vascular system which we have already discussed in this video we are going to discuss about lymphatic system just like blood vascular system lymphatic system also consists of a fluid which is flowing in a network of tube like structures first we will revise about the blood capillaries these capillaries are very very thin walled and any exchange which is between the blood and the surrounding tissues it always occurs through the walls of the capillaries whether this is the exchange of the gases through alveoli or it is the exchange of food or any other thing it will always occur through the walls of the capillaries while the blood is flowing under high pressure through the capillaries many things escape out of the blood and it goes into the spaces between the cells now these things can be larger mo molecules of proteins it can be water it can be some waste etc so all these things escape and they collect in these spaces because they are present outside the cells so they are called as extracellular fluid which has been named as lymph now the lymph may contain along with the things that have escaped from the blood it may also contain germs and the dead cells basic function of lymphatic system is to collect lymph from the extracellular spaces and pour it back into the blood circulatory system that is into the blood we can divide this system into four parts lymph lymph capillaries lymph vessels and lymph nodes so lymph is the light yellow colored fluid which is present in the intercellular spaces so it is called as extracellular fluid now just like blood it is also made up of two components that is plasma and the cells its plasma is a fluid matrix which contains proteins parts germs and fragments of some dead cells also unlike the blood lymph contains only one kind of cells which are the wbcs and they are called as lymphocytes but they have the function of wbcs that is to help fight with the infection now there is one more thing about lymph which is different from blood that lymph can move only in one direction which is towards the heart while blood moves in both the directions towards as well as away from the heart now from the extracellular spaces this lymph is absorbed by the lymph capillaries and lymph capillaries are able to do so because they have large pores in their walls larger than present in the blood capillaries so they are highly permeable and they can they can absorb larger particles of proteins and other things like fragments of dead cells also inside them lymph capillaries then join to form larger or wider vessels which are called as lymph vessels as lymph moves in these lymph vessels it keeps on losing its water and becomes more and more concentrated lymph vessels are also provided with valves so as to prevent any back flow of the lymph when these lymph lymph vessels reach closer to heart they pour all their contents into the blood vessel which is called as subclavian vein located just below the collar bone so all the lymph is poured into these two subclavian veins so the lymphatic system collects the extracellular fluid and pours it back into the blood circulatory system now see uh, these thickened part in between the lymph vessels these are called as lymph nodes now inside the lymph nodes a large number of lymphocytes are present which help to fight with the infection in two ways number one either they engulf the microorganisms or they produce antibodies which can kill the microorganisms so in a way they tend to localize the infection and prevent it from spreading to the other parts and help us in strengthening our immune system apart from lymph nodes or glands there are some organs which produce large number of lymphocytes so we call them as lymph organs so just a few to name there is this spleen which is present above the stomach thymus gland which is present in the chest region and it is most active in very small children then these are tonsils which are present in the face region so their only purpose is to produce large number of lymphocytes that can help fight with any kind of infection now we have seen various functions of lymphatic system they collect excess fluid from extracellular spaces pour it back into the blood also carry carbon dioxide and nitrogenous waste and pour it back into the blood help in killing the germs by producing more and more lymphocytes now one more very important function of lymphatic system is that it carries the digested fat directly from the intestines 
Now this fat is in the form of a milky solution which is called as chyle. So this is also one of the functions of lymphatic system. So now we are in a position to answer this question. How is lymph different from blood? So you can think about various points or jot them down in a notebook. And then you can match your answer with this table. 